Okay, it's Bob Ross, the Thunder Down Under. <sighs> okay, this one is very difficult. Because one of the actors just said they're not going to end up like a skull, you know, in the grave. How could that be? Uh, it can't be put into your mind the way it's in the mind that is running this particular body. The mind that is running this body is only using this body to communicate with you lot. And if you want to get to the mind that is not going to send you into the graveyard, um, don't come and see Bob Ross. He cannot help you. Who can help you? You're already that thing. You are never going to be a dead thing buried in the ground. You are an immortal spirit, and there is only one immortal spirit. Even though it appears that there's billions of people on here and billions of more animal species and plant species, there is only one intelligence here, one thing appearing as a myriad of things. So don't worry about this. It's not going to happen to you. What about your ego? Is your ego going to end up in the grave? No, it's a personality and it will be fine. So what dies? Um, in this 3D reality, what dies is your experience of a body of a personality. She says, too bad, you can't make money out of it. Uh, there is better information than, it's too bad, you can't make money out of it. But that is the way that most people apparently consider doing anything at all. If you can't make money at it, don't do it. Unless you've got a whole pile of money set aside, and then you can do it. Everything seems to revolve around either having money or not having money as to what you should do. When your personality and its body separate and, you know, you go your separate ways, is it really going to matter how much money you've got in your bank account? But you will say, ah, there must be money for a while you were with your body. I mean, you have to pay the rent, you have to have transportation, you've got to have food, you've got to pay your taxes. If you've got a car, well, you have to buy a car, insurance, repair bills, gasoline, license fees. If you think of a chipmunk, how much money does a chipmunk need? It's only because you're in human form that you're required to have money. Uh, did chipmunks follow the rules? Are they allowed to go, you know, from the neighbor's field into Area 51 near Roswell, New Mexico? I'm sure they are, unless there's electrified fence that's very small and won't let chipmunks through. But if you're in a human form, you're not allowed to go there. I said that there is only one intelligence running this world, but why does it seem that some of these bodies have got intelligences that are not acting that way? Uh, it's not going to be too easy to tell you that certain 
aspects of the one intelligence uh, don't believe that there is only one intelligence here. Uh, why would the one create aspects that don't believe in it? Maybe the one didn't. Who did then? You and me, me and you, 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 a billion times, a billion times, a billion times, all individual yous versus me. What do you do about it? You're in a human form and you seem to need money. And people say, if you could only make money from what you're doing, um, we'd be happier. It seems that I should be making money from what I do. You want to send me a check? I'm Bob Frizzell.